Hey everybody, it's me, Susan Blackwell, and I am in the East Village of Manhattan getting my read on in the famous Strand Bookstore with one of my favorite Broadway so-and-sos, Norbert Leo Butts. Good morning, Norbsy. Hi, Suze. Why have you brought us here today? I love the, the Strand Bookstore. It's a great bookstore. Well, who doesn't love a bookstore, period, right? I mean... Illiterate people? <laughs> that might give them a bad feeling, but <laughs> I you like were to, saying... I like to keep abreast of my ignorance and uh, bookstores, especially this one does that for me. If you had to select one book that is your favorite book, what's your favorite book? Oh man, Don't give me I any, can't like, believe you're James starting Joyce, with that. James Joyce, Chaucer, bullcrap. That's, that's just, that's such an unfair question. Okay. At least do like a Desert Island, like a top, a one, I mean, one book. One book, one Desert book. Island, you um, and that book for all of time. Better make it a good one. Uh, oh, the pressure's on. It's tough, know, it's early. I, you know, I'm gonna say Suzanne Summers' Breakthrough. That's what I'm gonna say. It's a good One book. I'm gonna go with surgery of the anus, <laughs> rectum, <laughs> and colon. <laughs> Can we get two cameras getting a close up of that? I wanna play a game with you called uh, Trade and Pictures. So I'm gonna find a picture in this book and I'm gonna show it to you All on right. camera. Okay. And then we'll trade. <laughs> You've already seen that. Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now find one for me. <laughs> but we're not going to show you at home. We can't show you. If you, you want to see the picture, you have to uh, pick a pick up a copy of Surgery of the Anus, Colon, and Rectum. <laughs> Ready? Check out that one. Oh! <laughs> Page 527. I would not wish that on anyone. Holy crap! So you met your wife Michelle on Wicked, mm -hmm. the original Fierro on Wicked. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, you had a wicked showman. Mm -hmm. You know, my kids are still mad at me for leaving that show. What did like they want to do that girls. perpetually? Yeah, they thought I would just be like, you know, a 50-year-old Fierro, like with the saggy ass and those white pants. Like, dancing through light, wing and weeping. Speaking of, there every the subsequent Fierros after you are all like, 25 years younger but than you. that's what he's supposed to be. Well, I'm like, you know, is that I mean, an honor I, to you? Or I don't understand. <laughs> I, I barely, barely got into the age range of that part. Uh, you know, Aaron Tveit, who I'm doing the show sure. with now, played it after me. And, uh, you know, he's they're all taller and younger and better hair and better body. But I really filled out those pants in the ass department. And I'm told... I'll say. I, I'm told by the subsequent uh, Elfies that my ass looked the best in those pants, you know what I mean? So you come from a enormous family. So big. Gigantic More family. siblings than books in this store. It's crazy. Ele you're the seventh out of 11 children. I am. As fast as you can, starting with your parents' names, name all your entire family in order. Norbert, Dolly, Steve, Kathy, Mike, John, Tom, Tony, Norb, Tim, Therese, Jim, Ann. That's all of us. That is crazy. Right, yeah. My father was a German. <clears throat> my mother was a good Irish Catholic, and I think that they just got it on a lot. I don't know what it was about that. It's an elegant explanation. They were. Your parents <laughs> got it on a lot. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, and my mom had 11, and she says her only regret in life is that she didn't have a perfect dozen. And that, I know. She's this big. How could her insides not have just fallen out the whole, with all due respect, well, Mrs. Butts? So you shared um, a bedroom with? Four brothers. Four. I read that you had a set of three, yeah, three bunk, bunk beds. beds. So that must have been oh, just no. like a perpetual spank happening at all <laughs> times, right? <laughs> Oh. It's a lot of boys in one room. It's a lot of boys in one it's room, a lot of Spain. and we're all we're all like a year apart. So you had like five boys between the ages of like twelve and eighteen. I had to, just working it I out. Tell you a story. I had a Learning friend come over to my. I would never have friends come over after school. Our house was just you know you can imagine it was just nasty. It was a pit. And a friend came over one day and he came into my bedroom and he he smelled and he went. Smells like Fritos in here. Fritos. That was the smell, That's I guess, of. <laughs> That's code word. In boys. That's like Fritos, Fritos is the code word. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go uh, to the bathroom and <laughs> have myself some Fritos. <laughs> so your professional name is Norbert Leo Butts. You said it. So Say what's it again? Norbert Leo Butts. One more time. Norbert Leo Butts. There you go. Was there an, another Norbert Butts in equity and you were like, I better add the Leo. My dad and I have the same name. Oh. But different middle names. 
I see. When I was in fifth grade, uh, a girl passed a sheet around the classroom while the teacher was, <clears throat> and you had to take your first initial and put it to your last name, and your last initial put it to your first yeah. name. So everybody, you know, you'd be Bo Boobin Slackwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I became Borbert Nuts. And so Borbert Nuts became my... <laughs> That really holds up. Nom I mean, de guerre. That, fifth grade joke that really was my nom de guerre, up. but then Borbert Nuts became Barbie Nuts, then just became, you know, and then just, a, and, you know, if it was a kid who just really lacked imagination, it was just, just butthole or <laughs> butthead or. A classic you know. that never goes out of style. Yeah. Is that, is that an anal canal? Is that a knife in an anal canal? Yeah. Oh my God. It's like exposure therapy. <laughs> what are we working out here? All right, let me find. Get a good one. Oh, I just Whoa. saw some polyps. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. It's a lot of polyps. <laughs> those are polyps, but here's what I like. Oh, I like the hairs coming out of the polyps. Oh! <laughs> For those playing along at home, page 886. <laughs> That is rough. Oh, I feel not. Don't you feel <laughs> sick now? <laughs> so that bad. That gives me what we call a brown feeling. You know what I Just thought this was going to do? Feeling. I actually thought this interview, I thought we were going to come. I pictured you as this like poetry loving person. I don't know why. I thought we were going to sit and read beautiful yeah. verse to each other. I thought this was going to yeah. be such a different. You know, I guess it just, you never, you know, in Have life. Have you seen the program? <laughs> Something I didn't know until I was in a Broadway show is that famous people come to see you perform in your show and then they come backstage to and say hi, which is out. the craziest. I cannot deal with it. I, can't, I run, I run from the celebrities. I house. used to run. You know, I was, yeah. I always tell people, I don't want to know, please don't let me know who's out there. No, no talk policy. I come Absolutely. in scoundrels. <clears throat> I had to do an upstage change on the set, surrounded by a group of the guys. They're all helping me out of this quick change. And uh, four of them were like, you see Springsteen? You see Springsteen in the oh! four? You see Springsteen in the four? Now you gotta understand, I went in my whole childhood, I grew up worshiping the, the, the man. I learned how to sing listening to those records, you know what I mean? He came backstage uh, with his wife and his kids. I sat in my dressing room shaking, just meeting it. It was so terrifying to me. I went to John's dressing room. I met him. I was. I don't think a word came out of my mouth. You know what? I got in the car to go home, and I cried for like three hours because it was that moment where you, some an icon, yeah. someone larger than life in your imagination, suddenly becomes a person. A person. I can't describe it, but you it was are an amazing. <laughs> you are a great A plus. <laughs> but that amazing. that was a huge one, man. Tell me about this Catch Me If You Can. All the kids are talking about it. What is that? <laughs> you play Tom Hanks in that? What is it? I, I play, uh, yeah, I play uh, the, the FBI Hanks. cop. It's so the different FBI from Tom. Cop. It's so different what? from Tom Hanks. It's so different from the film. They've done something really smart and that they didn't just take the movie and put it on stage. They've totally reconfigured it. Is that a fun um, group of people? Yeah. Having a good time? Really, 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 really good time. Um, I think it's really good. Really? I think it's really good. What's your favorite thing that you're singing in that? I don't sing a lot in it. Um, I have the heft of the kind of the, the book of it. A lot of talking? Um, yeah. Say some things you say. Um, do you use a funny voice? I kind of do Would use you? a funny voice, and I'm not going to do it Come now. On. No, 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 no. I'll sing something. Yeah, okay. I'll sing something. Give me something. Um, <clears throat> I'll sing. Um, you old cowboy, prospector voice like that. <laughs> Why would I do a cowboy prospector voice? I don't know, you voice? said it was fun, I don't know. Um, you talk like a lady. Stop your sobbing, kid, before I shoot, Bodu. Your nose is running on my only suit. Who'd have thought I'd share this dance with you? Looks like we're stuck together, which is strange, but true it's very swinging it's very it. it's great it's fabulous oh these are the moments i say this frequently <laughs> but these are the moments in my life and i'm like did you ever imagine be sitting in the parenting section of the strand bookstore right on the ground feeling the subway shake my butt holding the book of surgeries of the anus rectum and colon in my lap <laughs> having norbert butt sing to me from catch me if you can i feel like it all comes together what do your fans call themselves because I have an idea. But butties? Norbots. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
think about it in your That's marketing. Good. All right. Um, what's your favorite song to belt in the shower? I know you must sing in the shower and oh, in the car. So much. What do you just let loose oh, on? God. Just open it up. Leave it all in the shower, Norbert. What uh, is it? I packed my bags last night in flight. <laughs> Zero hours, 9 a.m. I sing Elton John all the time. And I must have been high as a kite by then. Elton John or something so like that. So good. I miss the earth so much, I miss my wife. I mean, those 70s songs, right? They're so good. So those good. 90s. Elton John, probably. Awesome. I like to picture you and Michelle in the shower together. And singing Elton John. Inappropriate for an interview. <laughs> NSFW. Um, what does that mean? NSFW. Not safe for work. Oh. This whole interview. Um, <clears throat> when you did Speed the Plow, how much sushi did you eat? <laughs> what? Uh -uh. I ate none. Uh, I don't really care for sushi, um, but I'm I'm glad that he ate a lot of it because I got a really good job and I got all of his shit. What? Like like the keels he left in his know, dressing room. I don't room. know if people realize this about what's his name, Jeremy. Piven. Thank you. Um, uh, awesome. I, uh, he like quit. I mean, he like said, I'm done, got on a plane and left okay. New York. Like, okay. don't pass go, don't collect shit from the dressing room. We got a great uh, garage band set up. There was a case of wine. Uh, there were, there was like a 50 inch screen television. <laughs> there was a sound system. I got an iPod. Took all this wine and the technology. It was, Back up the truck. it was phenomenal. I got to do this great play. I got all this free shit. Um, got to work with Raul and, and, and Lizzie Moss. It was awesome. I'm just going to. Good night, Moon. Do it Margaret, right. Margaret Weiss Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. Thank you for joining Clement us. Hurd. Clement Hurd and Norbert Butts. It's a good thing we're not a gay couple, right? That would be really, really bad. Thank you for joining us and for another episode. And the great green room. There side was a by side. Telephone. By Susan Blackwell. And a red balloon and a picture of a cow jumping over the moon. It's a cow. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. Oh, it all rhymes. I forgot. And two little kittens and a pair of mittens. Where are the kittens? Where are the kittens? <gasps> yes. There they are. And a little toy house and a young mouse. There's the mouse. He's so little. Yeah. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. They're saying good night to their mush. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Good night, Susan Blackwell. Good night. Sleep back. Look at how far. Oh! Do you know what I mean? Oh! I don't like, I, I can't. You don't want anything up there, do anything you? Anything up there. I, I like the faintest whisper of a finger. You know what I mean? Wow. This is, none of this is going on this. What? What we just talked about. <laughs> what is this? All of it. <laughs>